What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach. We got another episode of The Journey coming to you today. In today's episode, we have two matches in the league. One at home against Dorking, the other away from home against Boston United on the telly. Which is cool, we'll get, uh, let's see here. We'll get two grand for being on the TV. So that's cool. In between episodes, we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, eight matches with mixed results, five wins, three losses. That puts us third in the table. The most recent match was against Torquay, which is a match we should have been winning. We, uh, that that loss put us four points back from top of the table. Had we won that, we would be, what, 72 points, so one point back. We have, we have an issue where our XG is through the roof. Is there a way to pull up our form? Um, hmm. Goal scores? No, it's not really what I want. Although I do like that view, actually. We just, uh, our XG has been so high these last few games. And nothing to show for it. Our way to do this without having to click into each one. So here, 2.43 xg to 1.97. We should have won that one. Um, let's see here. This one nil loss against Barnett, and maybe not <clears throat> as bad. Uh, what was our other loss? This one here against Torquay. 1.12, not as bad, but I have noticed that RXG has been pretty high and not able to to score as many as I think we should be. That one we overscored our XG. Yeah, 2.5, we probably should have won that. 3 0, Grimsby. 2.1, but like 21 shots, we should be winning by more than 2-0. So, the squad, I have been playing a 4 Manto in our center back role and not even bringing Ben Grist. Daniel Oyagoki has been taking that spot on the bench, that kind of defensive midfield role. Uh, we are still without Fred on Yadima for another couple of months. Did I bring in anybody since the last episode? When was our last match? It was against Newport. So yeah, we did bring in one new player, Patrick Jones, who came in from... Huddersfield came in on a free just a good backup winger we are kind of lacking in that department um, so I felt like yeah, that, that would be a good spot to go Fred Onyadima is coming to the end of his career I think since here Hall I'm probably going to let go in the summer, Callum Marshall is exploring his options. He got grumpy, and so I just placed him on the transfer list. What else? Uh, Afore Mantio is leaving at the end of the season. So a couple of these guys we will look to replace. And this, the, the new guy, where are you? Patrick Jones just slotted right into the team. 
three and a half star potential ability he might get a little bit better as you can see almost all of his stats are an upward trend and a lot of these are going to go up to a yellow number which is lovely so i have been kind of working the the transfer market a little bit anybody leave yes uh two guys left ruben shack poke went to shooting stars where are you nigeria for 16.75 and dylan lawler we ended up letting go for 52,000 pounds he's going to bradford city who are Mm hmm competitions senior squad they are about mid table in league one so definitely an upgrade for him it was 50,000 pounds that we just put straight into our pocket we got about 3,000 pounds a week to work with next uh, next season's payroll is guaranteed 30 and a half grand, but we are guaranteed 114,000 pounds for transfer budget next year. Assuming we do go up into the football league, both of those will more than likely increase. So you can see we are losing quite a bit of money, which is fine. Uh, the projection is not fantastic, but if we do get into the football league, both of those will go up. I think that is all of the housekeeping. Let's play dorking at home. Let's get to the tactical meeting. Fori Manto is not going to be making an appearance. Ben Grease, Ben Grease, Ben Grist will be starting. And that's really it. In goal, we have Luke Bell, as always. Back four of Joey Futi, Ben Gris, Joseph Edwards, Josiah Linton. My Jack Butler experiment failed tremendously. So we are back to starting Josiah Linton. Then we have Dean Campbell and Aaron Henry in the midfield. In the correct... <coughs> Formation is not the word I'm looking for. Anyway. Ryan Barnett, Jackson Blaise, Peter, Patrick Jones, supporting Toby Adeyemo up front. I've decided to go to start playing Adeyemo. This, this whole not scoring a lot of uh, goals very often is getting fairly annoying. He did score from, I think, left wing at some point. So he is up to 15 goals in how many matches? 29. So it's not exactly what you're wanting from your uh, out and out striker. Again, at EMO 7 from probably 20 or so. Yeah, 20 appearances. Half of those coming off the bench. So again, we're not quite at a goal a match striker that is something I would like to bring in at some point but one every other and and most of these are you know multiple goals in a in a game two goals there and then you have to that's it <laughs> one goal here you, you have to go farther back to find all of his goals so with all that let's get to the match He's going to be lacking match sharpness. That's fine. We are at home against Dorking. Let's get to the match. I expect to see a much better performance from you. We do start with the ball. We are going right to left in the white and blue. Dorking in their orange, which I believe is their away kit. So let's put in a good shift today. We are what, four points back. Hartlepool, I didn't see who they play today. We will take a look at that and pay attention to those matches and along with the, the Torquay match. Ooh, good ball. Probably not the right idea to take that shot, 
but it's all right. Uh, Hartlepool playing Barnett at home. Torquay away from home against Forest Green. Forest Green is one that tends to pull out interesting results. Um, as I said, that Torquay scored. <clears throat> they are not winning headers once again. So if we're not going to win headers, let's let's stop crosses out of possession. Stop crosses. Because both of our wing backs, I just refuse to jump for those. It is getting quite frustrating. A lot of the goals we gave up in between matches were were that goal. <clears throat> where somebody puts in a cross, goes to the far post. Oh my god, Aaron Henry should not have scored that. But he does. It's his 11th of the season. Barrow 1, Dorking 1, 24th minute. Not sure what the goalie was doing unless he was blinded by traffic. And that's a... Oh, it might have taken a deflection off of... That center back there, number four. <clears throat> Dorking have a corner here. Winkle is going to step up to take it left-footed, going to the near post. Oh, my God. Away, please, Jesus. Don't just hang out with the ball on the goal line. Yeah, 0 0.1 XG from that shot. All right, Edwards gives it to Grist. Barnett, ooh, yeah, splits the defenders, gives it to Jones, Henry, Jackson blaze out to Campbell, passing it around really nicely, that's a good run from Futi, slides it across, oh, Jones, what did I say your name was, it's not Phil, Peter, Patrick, it's Patrick, yeah, it's working into the box, I like that. Another outswinger for Dorking here. 40th minute, Madison stepping up, going to the near post. Goes up in the air, falls back to Voss, gives it to Madison, away. Oh, step, step up, please, Jesus. Winkle gives it to Allen, back to Winkle. It's a good run. Hmm out for another corner. Madison with it once more. See if we can deal, it, deal with it a little bit better this time. We don't. Daniel Voss scores his fourth of the season. We need to work on defensive headers in training sometime. Yeah, that was a 4v2 and Dorking won the header. Futi, out wide, cuts in, bring it down, Henry, gives it to Grist, Edwards, back to Campbell, Edwards, out to the left, Linton, dribbling forwards, got a little bit of space, it's closed down, out of ammo, can't win the header. Bashir clears it. Futi keeps it in play. Still on the attack. Yep. Oh, good save, keeper. What a save. Play it now. We wait way too long for those. That was a wasted corner. Absolutely wasted. Blaze to Jones. Not a good shot. And that is halftime. Barrow one, Dorking two. 
Show me something else in the second half. Don't know how to guarantee us winning headers other than transfers, getting new players in. That can actually win a header. Let's offer some encouragement. Let's go attacking, please. Thank you. Henry, I'll go here. Aaron Henry, I think what's his 12th of the season. Oh, a little knee slide into the corner. I like it. And I called it as well. God, what a finish. That goalie was not standing in the right spot for that. <laughs> Quickly. Back to him. Okay. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. I'm not sure if that was the right time for that, but he almost pulled it off. Off the bar again. Oh. Okay, we actually want to win this one, so that's good. Away. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Nobody stepping up. Bashir reacted way too quickly for that. That is unfortunate. Let's take off Ryan Barnett for Callum Marshall. And we can take off Dean Campbell for Daniel Igoki. That'll hold us over for now. Jones. Vost out to Madison. That's a good ball. Yep. Oh! Come on. Jones. Mm -mm. Futi, take it. We do have a corner. Marshall is going to stand over it. End swinger just being drilled to the middle of the box. Ayagoki slides it over. Ref? Nothing. Oh, don't don't do that man away I mean at least he jumped for that one we are putting on a lot of pressure oh it was there it was there for the taking Got about five minutes left, plus stoppage, to bring this back. Jones, that was way too early for that shot, man. Let's make our final change. Uh, Josiah Linton can come off for Jack Butler. Let's go very attacking, encourage. Hmm. Fitzwater, over the top looking for teammate. 
Edwards intercepts, clears it, but gives it up. Jones holds it up, gives it to Vost. Fitzwater. Over the top. Keeper has it. Okay. Don't really see a need for going to ground with that. But uh, I'm not the keeper. But do what you want to do. Oh, what was that? Seven minutes of stoppage time. Good lord. Our entire team doesn't want to win headers. Ever. Okay. Jones, nice. Good touch. Corner. Let's do that. Uh, play a little bit wider. Just about a minute left. Oh, Futi. Oh, how does the keeper get a hand on that? I'll just have it, have it, have it. Oh, another one. Yep. Oh. Shoot. Oh, go forward, 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 boys. Out wide, out wide, thank you. Mm. That's that. You know what? We... We tried. <laughs> we tried. That. I, I'm okay with that loss. I mean, again, our XG was higher than what we actually scored. But that, that third goal from them was so unfortunate. So unfortunate. That puts us seven points back from the top. Remember when I said that it was guaranteed we were going to make playoffs? We're ten points safe. With a couple months to go. When is this match? In a couple days time, we're just going to hit continue to it. And we're not going to make any cuts today. It's a no cut Wednesday when this video comes out. 12 scattering reports. Eh. Potentially Skybet League 2 standard. You are loan listed. We do have a full scouting report on you. God, you can play the, what the fuck? You can play anywhere in the central bit of the field. Nah. Okay. Well, there there was nothing there. Let's go to Boston. Request a summary in the inbox for the monthly meeting. I wish I could do that at my real job. Yeah, just send, in, send me an email of, all, of everything you talked about. Thanks. Let's see here. Jones is getting better everywhere. Uh, yep, good with that. And individual training, cool with me. Speaking of training, let's take a look at these 
the calendar. <clears throat> get to March hmm defending aerial defense heading yes That's good with me. Fred Onyadima is not fit. Failed his fitness test, which is fine. Grist in for you. Uh, good lord. I go K okay here. Mm hmm. Is this where we pull this out? Go with uh, Campbell there, and someone like Blockley here. I think so. That one's still a concern. We just don't have anybody else I can play center back, like at all. So are you twenty ones looking like anybody good? Mm -mm. No. Good. Awesome. So we get to play a very tired Joseph Edwards. And you're gonna like it because I literally do not have any other options. Aaron Henry. This is a interesting one here. About four days time until the match against Woking. Let's let's bring you. Let's bring Sincere Hall instead of um Henry. I think. I don't know. We might have to get creative later. So in goal we have Luke Bell, back four of Ayogoki, Grist, Edwards, and Linton. Dean Campbell, Jackson Blaze, uh, Joby. Joby Blockley in central midfield. What will work better? Like a CM on attack? Yeah, let's do that. I'm cool with that. Then we have Ryan Barnett, Patrick Jones supporting Toby Adeyemo up front. Let's submit the team. Let's get to the match. This is going to be a tough one, fitness wise. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it's in the poor run of form. Once again, we do start with the ball right to left in the white and blue. Boston in yellow. I guess it's yellow. Is it orange? Yellow orange? It's got some orange hues to it. <clears throat> Claridge ends the highlight. That was close to being out of play. Blythe. Lumley gives it to Claridge. Out to Patterson Powell. Tilly gets past his man. Very easily. Linton closes him down. Patterson Powell with the shot goes well wide and over the bar. Down the tunnel. Into the box. Russell is there. Can't win the header. Barnett starting the counterattack. Looking for a teammate. Just dribbles into traffic. Owen. Crosses it. Weaver wins the header. Bell forced to punch it over the bar. And it's out for a corner. First corner of the match for Boston. It's going to be an outswinger. Patterson Powell standing over it. Going to the near post. Off the back of somebody. Weaver's shot. Uncontested. Goes over the bar. 
We've had no shots so far. There's our first one. Ooh, off the wall. Takes a weird deflection. And Linton first in the book with a yellow. 12 minutes gone. All right, we give up the ball. Hosker gives it to Russell. Linton not winning the header as per usual. Blythe. Patterson Powell gives it to Claridge. Back to Powell. Out on the right-hand side, just about keeps it in play. Second time, he gives it up, but we immediately give it back to Boston. Owen, out on the left now, gives it to Robinson. Tackled, tackled, Adiemo ends up with the ball. We got a run. Hmm. We'll let, it, let him take that shot all day. We need to be quicker with the passing. Let's also encourage them. They've had seven shots, but none of them have been really good opportunities. Which is keeping us in the game here. Jones. With the corner, Campbell, top of the box, takes the shot early, off the bar, falls to Linton, his cross is cleared, had a couple of really good chances there. Halftime, nil-nil. Um... Yeah, let's dig in. Wasn't necessarily happy with the performance. I'm not too terribly upset. It was an adequate performance. This tactic has done exactly what I wanted it to do. Is to prevent really good opportunities all the time for the other team. Let's play for set pieces. Since that's how we seem to be scoring recently. Powell. Lumley. Gives it back to Patterson Powell. Lumley again. This time to Robert Robinson. Not Robertson. Hosker brings it down nicely. Is out on the left. His ball is a little little uh little loosey goosey we end up with the ball jones gives it to linton campbell somebody make a run blaze is just going to take it on his own but sends it just over the bar and it's out for a corner blockley standing over it a lot of guys are starting to get tired foul in the box Let's make our first change. Um, yeah. Linton, bud. We, we, need a, we need new left backs. Like both of them. We need replacements. Neither of them ever do their job well. Robinson to Hosker. Russell back to Robinson. Blythe holds it up, finds Robinson. We're able to stop that little move from really creating anything. Lumley gives it to Tilly out wide. He's in some space. Cuts on his left. Linton with the tackle. Another tackle in the box. 
Referee says play on both of those fair. Not sure about the second one, but we get away with it. Claridge to Blythe. Really long highlight that eventually leads to nothing. Um, not sure what was going on there, but we'll take it. Let's do some more encouraging. And, ooh, we do clear it. Owen, top of the box. His shot is blocked. It's a Boston throw. We will look for another change here. would love to take Edwards off, but just don't have... Uh, Ayogoki can. Let's do that. Um, Futi onto the field. Fairly tired. Uh, let's also... I think we'll take off Patrick Jones for Callum Marshall there. That'll set us up for the rest of the match. And, of course. <clears throat> of course, that would happen. Um, hmm. Who can play there? You can. Can Blaze? No, he can't. Let's go with maybe this. You as a ball winner on defend. You as a, I guess, box to box. Literally a minute after we make our final change. So we got to play 10 minutes a man down. Um, in transition, let's slow it down. And I guess we can can do all of the time wasting. Hopefully we can just squeak out a draw here. Eight minutes of added time. Good God. We do have a throw. Nice. Good stuff. Futi to Campbell. Yep. One more. Send him! Oh my god. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Marshall. Kella Marshall scores his 16th of the season. Boston nil. Barrow. A man down. One. Come on, boys. He should have sent him there, but... We got it done. Two minutes left to hold on. Hoof it. All right, that's full time. Boston nil, Barrow one. Oh. Well done, boys. What a victory. Good, good stuff. Uh, Barnett is out for four to eight months. Lovely. That is just lovely. When are we going to come back? Actually, what does that mean for the table? Still uh, seven points? Did Hartlepool draw? No, they won. Seven points back. Four points from Torquay. And that is that. Let's take a look at the schedule. Um, do we want another... Do we want two episodes or do we want one episode? Let's see here. How many... Alright, let's do some maths here. We are... 12 points clear of... not playoffs <laughs> with how many games we got a lot of games to play um let's come back for 
whenever. Hmm. How do I put this in words? We'll come back for when we can figure out when we're a hundred percent in playoffs, when we're guaranteed playoffs. We'll come back for those matches. Um, I doubt we're gonna catch Hartlepool. I really do. I think. I think these. And honestly, Oldham. I think those losses really, really hurt our chances of catching Hartlepool. Do we play them again? We don't. What about Torquay? We don't. So we're done with those two. Who's that? Who else is left? Newport, Maidenhead, Filed, Grimsby. Maidenhead is really the only one we play again. So yeah, we'll come back somewhere in here for the... Hey, congrats, you've made playoffs. Um, matches. Whenever that is... But that's where we're going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All of those fun things. And as always, we'll see you later.